This is a seven and a half million dollar race. What does it feel like to be riding in a race worth that much money? Uh, it's great to be here for, for this race, for the international race. It's my first time here and I enjoy it. And it's very important uh, for, for my career and uh, to have uh, the, the cool more support. I'm really looking forward to the race. Um, my horse is in good nick. I seen him this morning at Wayne, which is which raised him out. I was very happy with him. He gave him a breeze up the grass yesterday in Canterbury, and he said um, he said he felt great. I always wanted to come back. Um, I loved it here when I was here for three years ago with Chris Water. So um, I was hoping to come back, but come back for a seven and a half million dollar race. That's lottery numbers at home. So um, no, it's a big opportunity and very grateful for uh, getting out here. And please God, hopefully bring some of it home. So you've walked the track today. Where do you think Never Know More might be in the run and, and your plan for the race? Oh, we have a, we have a good draw and uh, uh, the ground is perfect. Uh, he's good, he, he's not too firm. I, th I think he will be perfect for my horse. And beat Le Bon, where do you expect him to, to figure in the run? Where do you think he'll settle in the field? Uh, he'll settle in somewhere middle to back, I'd say. He's, he can light up a little bit early. Um, so first, first preference is to relax him early and see where we are. But he's a horse you just got to let him warm up into it. If, if you can't really set him light to get a position, otherwise he'll run keen and he won't finish. And the track itself, uh, that first run, long run to the to the first turn and the long run in, you think that'll suit the horse? Um, I just hope to go a good gallop. That's more important than anything. If they go a good gallop and he settles, he's got a very good turn of foot when he does relax in his races. And the track is perfect, it's, um, it's ideal for Tell us about I Am Superman and where you think he might be in the run, because you know this track fairly well. Yeah, uh, look, I'm drawing 14 away, but there's pace outside me, so ideal world jumps, they go forward. We'll be able to sit there third, fourth, fifth. Um, keep it wherever he's looking. He's very easy enough to ride once he's settling in a rhythm. We kind of ride him from there, wherever he is. So, um, but ideal world, look, sitting fourth, fifth, one off the rail and keep it simple. Does he have any sort of turn of foot or is he a bit more of those uh, built into their work uh, horses from overseas? Yeah, no, he's a good cruising speed. You know, he jumps and he travels very well. He's a big striding horse, so he can get into a rhythm and he uses his stride. And once there's a nice pace on the BID, then he'll be able to quicken off that then, you know. He lengthens away and lengthens the whole way to the line, so hopefully uh, he'll uh, be in front coming the line, please, God. The track here today, you've had your first walk of it, obviously. Uh, your impressions on the surface and what condition it's in? Oh, the surface is, is perfect, the grass is, is beautiful and, and maybe uh, it's very, very simple to ride, yeah. Yeah, it's a beautiful track. The grass is very different to what I'm normally um, used to riding on. It's a lot more cushion here. There's no excuse for any horse on this beautiful ground. Yeah, no, brilliant, Nick. And it's a um, great, Nick. No, in fairness to, to management, they've done some job and uh, maintain it. You think, you know, you're here firm, but like with that grass, it's completely different grass you'd have at home. It's a really good cushion on it, so um, no, it seems to be brilliant, Nick, thank God.